So hello everyone and welcome again to CUAPs, the gaming channel, trying to bring some fun back into gaming. Uh, I'm still here, the fire didn't consume me, uh, in fact it got worse and worse, anyway I digress. <laughs> Honestly life, life amazes me. So uh, we're on Citadel at the moment, uh, I did do a live reaction to him. But for some reason, it doesn't line up. I don't know. I think I had the telly on, and there's a bit echoey, and uh, I don't know. And there's, you can hear stuff going past, and uh, so I've sacked it. So what I'm going to do is, like I said, just same idea. I'm just going to give a quick run round, as you can see, and uh, just go over my first initial thoughts on these maps. And to be honest, they're not bad. They're nothing special. Uh, I've actually had a go on each on on multiplayer. On, actually, on multiplayer public mode and the lobbies are awful again so i've managed to get a couple of decent gameplays but there was some oh, right at the end i've got some mech gameplay but i was shooting people with the mechs and that sort of stuff so we, uh, you can jump into them anytime and uh yeah even that was laggy so uh yeah citadel i don't know what this is meant to B, I don't know. Oh, obviously, it's a city. <laughs> it's like I don't know. It's like, like a Roman type of thing or Gothic. So, but I don't know. I, I I don't know. It's not a bad map. Like I said, three lanes. Uh, obviously, you can flank around the side. This is the main chamber. Uh, this is all down the centre. Then this is around to the left side, depending to which side you start. Obviously. So, but yeah, yeah. As you can see, I've just had a quick run around the map. Uh, if I do fire anywhere, it's normally indicating where, uh, like, bloody uh, camping spots will be, especially in uh, Outlaw. God, <laughs> it's a good map, actually. So I think it was standoff in another one. So, anyway, here we are on Micro. Uh, the idea on this map is we're all shrunk down onto a table, uh, which ain't bad. Like I said, the idea of it's quite good. As you can see, they've put a lot of work into it, but I'd rather they put the work into the fucking game itself, i.e. trying to sort all this fucking lag and that sort of stuff, because yeah, that's quite horrendous. Seeing as a, like an 11 gig update, you thought they might have done something about it. So, yeah, as you can see, where I started, I'm flanking around the left side. Uh, same again on the game on this. It weren't too bad. It was just laggy as hell again. So, But this is quite a short map. But there's quite some, there is some quite long engagements to be honest. You'd be surprised. You'd probably be able to throw a map one, a uh, grenade one side of the map to the other. But uh, yeah, so yeah, we don't, went down the left hand side or one of the flanks. This is all down the centre. Uh, nothing special, is it? You know what I mean? I, like I said, I get the idea. But if you had to fight like the the flies or the ants, that might be quite cool because you can actually kill them. So. I said kudos, kudos, people. It, it, visually, it looks really good, but I'd rather something that plays well and works well rather than something that looks good. So, yeah, yeah. It, as you can see, there's not much to it. You know what I mean? So there's a few little places like this where you can you can cut across and all that sort of stuff. So, but this is the centre of the map, as you can see, with the cans. So, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just not the best map I've ever played on, to be honest. So, but it, it ain't too bad. I would have thought all this heat stuff would have killed you, like, you know what I mean? Give interactive uh, maps, but no. No, as you can see, you can shoot stuff as well. So, I think I try shooting an ant and that there. So. <laughs> so, it is interactive in some way. So, here we go. Uh, I didn't actually get the map up for this. So, we've got Outlaw, which I think it's the standoff map, but don't quote me. But there's a lot, a lot of camping position, a lot of camping stuff in this in this one. This is what really started getting me into uh, using my sniper rifle. The reason is that because I was just getting hammered left, right, and centre. Uh, it, it seems bigger. Uh, you go through around here. This used to be a petrol station, and it, it, I don't know. It just seems a lot bigger here. It probably isn't. It probably isn't. But it just seems to be really big. But oh yeah, yeah. This is this is sniping central. If you like your sniping rifles and you're quite good at sniping, here's one of the perches. You know what I mean? You get hammered. I like try shooting that down. You can't. <laughs> it's a piece of crap. So, but yeah, I said I, it's only a quick run round. Go around the edge of the maps. You know what I mean? Go through the. I can go through the centre a little bit, but there's no point. So, 
Where we go is another camping perch. Uh, yeah, not too bad, not too bad. But if you do go up there, remember people are, do know you're going to go up there and you're going to get sniped a lot. So yeah, them bloody uh, them shutters is a new thing. A bear as well, you know what I mean? <laughs> Mental in it. So yeah, yeah, it's not much really I can say about these maps. To be honest, like I said they don't seem too bad. Outlaw. Nah, not too bad, not too bad. I do miss your advanced warfare stuff where you can actually play as the predator and there's little challenges that that you can do just to enhance the game. But uh, as you can see, there's, there's no real difference. No real difference. All right, it's, it's all adding new skin. It's a bit more shinier. But this is another camping put. Well, I say camping, but the uh, sniping perch. So, but no, as you can see, it looks really good. They have put some effort into it, but they should put the effort into the fucking game. And that's the main sniping bloody position there. So, yeah, uh, we're coming on to the last game played. Well, the game played last. Look at the map and uh, on the in some detail. Rupture. Uh, I don't know. It's just meant to be a space time rupture type thing, which you can. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. So, I don't really pay that much attention to them. So, yeah, for running around. I run around to the left initially. Uh, I don't know if you can use the mechs while you're in a like a pub, like your arena mode, to be honest. Uh, but like I said, the last couple of minutes of this game, there's actually some gameplay of me using uh, the mech. So, uh, this will show you where it first is and all that sort of stuff. And they're all right. I was struggling to kill people, like I said, with uh, in the main game. Uh, that's a bit shit, really, seeing these... These things are meant to be fucking tanks. But this shows how lucky it is. So, uh, and you can't go that way. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay, people. Well, gameplay footage. It's only a quick run around of the map just to get... This is quite a big one, actually. Uh, might be good on ground war. Uh, it'd be quite good on something like uh, Battlefield, actually. It's about that type of size. I suppose that needs to be with all the, the mechs and all that sort of stuff. So here you are with the mechs. Uh, quite cumbersome, as in takes a bit to, to move. Uh, it's, it's, it's something different, isn't it? Something different, but then again, it's something we can add a bit more lag. Because like I said, even using this was a bit fucking laggy. So, uh, yeah, yeah. So, this is actually gameplay. So, enjoy the rest of this. It's only about another minute or so long. And what I'll do, I'll catch you all later.